So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. This is your very own mask order this side, and today we are here to solve a Morgan Stanley problem, which has come in form of a POTD in front of us, and the problem name is maximum sum problem. And so sorry that I am bringing this video a little little too late to you uh, today because I was the laptop was not reachable to me right. That's why I was not able to make a video for you. But here I am, and we will just solve the question quickly, and you can continue to your streak. Okay, so what does the problem say? The problem says that you have been given a number n. It is an integer ranging from, it can be either 0 or any integer up till 10 to the power 6. The constraints say that. Okay, you have to return the maximum sum. What is the maximum sum? The maximum sum states that if you divide this n into n by 2, n by 3, n by 4, right? So suppose your number is, let's say 12, right? Okay. So 12 divided by 2 is 6, 12 divided by 3 is, uh, what do we say, 4, and 12 divided by 4 is 3, okay. And for the cases where it is not exactly divisible, you just do the integer division, okay. That is take the floor value of it. That is 13 by 3 is actually uh, 4 point something, right. So you take it as 4 only, okay. You divide it. Now you sum these values. So you will see 6 plus 4 plus 3 gives me 13, right. Is 13 greater than 12? Yes, you will say correct. So your answer would be 13. Okay. But the function is saying that you can do this uh, thing recursively. That is, suppose you have a given 24. So 24 divided by 2 is 12. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 24 divided by 4 is 6. What is the value uh, sum of these three? It is 12 plus 8, that is 20 plus 6, 26. Already greater than 24, right? But can we increase this value? Yes. If we divide 12 by 2, it will give us 6, 4, 3, right? You divide, if we divide 8 by 2, 3 and 4, it will give us 8 divided by 2 is 4. 8 divided by 3 is 2 point something, so it will be 2. 8 divided by 4 is exactly 2, right? And 6 divided by 2 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 6 divided by 4 is 1 point something, so we will take 1 only. Okay. So this value is 6 plus 4 plus 3, that is 13. This value is 4 plus 2 plus 2, that is 8, which is equal to 8. 3 plus 2 plus 1 gives also 6. So these two values are not changing, but 13 is greater than 12, right? 13 is greater than 12. So we will take 13, right? 13 plus 8 plus 6, which will give me, uh, what do we say? It will 14 plus 13, that will be 27. Among these three values, 27, 26, and 24, which is the highest? It is the 27th value. So it is a, it is a final answer. You can divide them. Uh, alongside you can do that uh, recursively you can also divide 4 into 3 parts and do checking but I have already tested that it will be re remaining same that 4 will be the maximum of all these 3 right so today's problem is given as easy but I will like to recommend that to you if you are not able to solve it don't worry this problem is not at all easy it is a medium level problem because it is using recursion and as you will solve it you will see that suppose here only right here only you will see that 12 12 is a what do we say a repeating case like if here we will solve 4 like here if we here we would have solved 4 and here we would have encountered 4 again so the sub problems are repeating and whenever the sub problems are repeating what do we do we use dynamic programming right so it is a dp problem not a hard level dp a moderate dp but it is not an easy type pro easy type problem for sure okay so let us see how we will solve this right so you have been given an n let's say your n is 24 Okay, we have already looked at 24. So let us take a 24 only. Okay, 24. You will divide them. You will see 24 divided by 2 is 12. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 24 divided by 4 is 6. Correct? Okay. You will say 12 divided by 2 is 6. 12 divided by 3 is uh, 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Right. 6 divided by 2 is uh, 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 6 divided by 4 is 1 point something. So it will remain 1 only. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Sorry, th let us do the 3 also again. 3 divided by 2 is uh, 1 point something. So, 1 only. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 4 divided by 3 is 0. That is 0 point something. So, we will take this floor value. That is 0. 2 divided by 1, uh, 2. 1. 2 divided by 3. 0 point something. So, again 0. 2 divided by 4. 0 point something. Again 0. 1. Okay. For the cases of 0 and 1, let us see what will happen. If we divide 0 into 3 parts, it will be 0, 0, 0. And for also the 1, it will be 0, 0, 0. So you can see it is giving, giving rise to 0. It is giving rise to 0. Right. In both the cases, either 1 is greater. In this case, 1 is greater. 
in this case zero is greater so we will be taking this one value right so whenever we reach a one we will say that return one whenever we reach a zero we will say return zero okay because we need to end a recursion also so we need to find a base case so we have our, we have found our base case which is our zero and one right okay so one zero zero one will return one one will return one zero will return zero so one will return one one and zero it will be giving rise to two but which is greater two is greater or three is greater it will say three is greater so return three only okay return three now it is returning one here one is greater or two is greater two is greater so return two only okay return two so we have got three and two now one is our base case so it will return one only it will return one three plus two plus one is six six is greater or six is greater they're both equal so return six okay coming back to four four will give rise to four 4 divided by 2 is 2, 4 divided by 3 is 1 point something, so take 1, 4 divided by 4 is exactly 1, okay. So what is 2 giving? 2 here, you can see 2 has given 2, right? So it will also return 2. Why I am showing this? Because it is a overlapping sub problem, okay. And I know you two, you guys are too genius to understand when they, whenever a recursion says that, hey, I have overlapping sub problems. Why don't you use DP? Why are you calculating again and again? Yes, I will say, okay, I will use DP. Okay, so we have got our two as a in hand. One will return one again, one will return one again. Now, three, get divided into, three divided by two is one. Okay, sorry, three is already returning three, right? So I will not do it again, I will just return three. Again, use the DP. Eight divided by two is actually four. Eight divided by three is actually two point something, right? So two point something will return to two. Eight divided by four is actually again two. 2 already solved, returning 2. 2 already solved, returning 2. 4 is not, 4 is also solved, right? 4 is also solved. It is running 2, 1, 1. It is running 2, 1, 1. That is one, two, 4 only. So it is running 4, right? And 3 is returning 3. So 4 is also returning 4. So 4 plus 2 plus 2, that is 8. Okay, it will return 8. And 6 plus 4 plus 3, it is running 13. So it will return 13 and 12 maximum. Max of 13 and 12. So it will return 13. It has returned 8. The only case left is 6 and 6 is already solved here. 6 is returning 6 only. Okay. So 13 plus 8 plus 6 gives rise to 27. Which is greater? 27 is greater or 24 is greater? You will say that 27 is greater. So yes, your answer is 27. Okay. So what is the pseudocode? The pseudocode works like this. That suppose we implemented a function named, what do we say? Let's say solve. Right. We have got a value n. Right. Okay. What do we do? We say that if, what are the base cases? If n is equals to equal to 0, in that case return 0. If n is equals to equals to 1, in that case return 1. These are the base cases. What is the recursion subcase? The recursion case says that return max of, what is the max? Either n or solve for n by 2 plus solve for n by 3 plus solve for n by 6. Am I correct? Am I correct? Are we on the same page? I guess so. Okay. So, this will be my pseudocode, right? I want you to dry run this, okay? For the same, 24 only. Dry run this for the 24. And if you are able to get to the correct answer, yes, you are going in the same correct direction. Okay. Now, how do I DP? Very simple. What is changing? N is changing. What is the dimension of DP? One, only one variable is changing. So, 1 DDP. What is the ranges? N can be going to N. We need an N index, right? So for N index, we have to make a size of N plus 1. Right? Okay. Change, mark it as minus 1 for all the indexes. Okay. Now, if DP of N is not equal to minus 1, I will not write this statement because it is so boring. And return DP of N. And what, is, what will come here? Equals to. Because before returning, the subject to DP array. This is the only thing you have to do. So I hope you are clear with the code. This is not a pseudo code. This is the actual code only. Okay. So let us just write down the code. Let me zoom it down for you. What we were doing? We were making a vector in a DP array of size n plus one. And what were we assigning? It were, we were assigning minus one to all of them. And what we were doing? Return solve DP sorry solve for n and dp right n and dp okay 
just implement the easy solve function. I guess the GFG uh, allotted it, allot it as a DP because they saw that for a person who knows DP, it is easy. Yes, that is true. But still, I don't think that it really belongs to easy. It should get four points instead of two. Vector int and DP. Okay. In the meantime, while I'm writing the code, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Okay. So if the base case is if n equals to equals to zero or n equals to equals to one, instead of writing them different, you can I write return n. Right. In the case of zero, it will run zero. In the case of one, it will run one. So our purpose is getting solved. Otherwise, if DP of n is not equals to minus one, that means the problem has been visited. In that case, return DP of n. Why waste time? Okay. Other cases return first update and then return maximum of what is the maximum first argument is n the original number or the number written by the sub problem that is n by 2 plus n by 3 sorry yeah n by 3 plus n by 4 right also I will have to send the dp as an argument okay just some syntax dp and here also dp hope it will work so if you have subscribed to my channel it will work if you're not it will not work okay so let's see have you subscribed to my channel and yes i think that all of you have subscribed that's why it is running fine let's try to submit it and if not subscribed then make it true subscribe to my channel because i'm sorry to say but 90 percent of you have not subscribed and i'm always saying 90 percent it is a true value i can show you in the youtube studio as, as well i'm not lying to you because i never have to i never have to my what do we say my watchers okay so we have completed a 71 day streak okay and we'll meet we will meet tomorrow with a new energy and a new question till then keep coding okay keep practicing because practice will polish your skills okay so we'll meet tomorrow have a nice day